Tombstone, Arizona Territory, the morning of July 29, 1881. Well, sir, you've got enough grub and gear there to start a store of your own. What are you going after, stranger? Store of my own. Uh, <laughs> You, um, you been on the trail long? A while. Coming from San Francisco. What made you say that? You're Glade Rafferty. He wanted for bank robbery and murder in San Francisco. I wouldn't. Circular said there were two others. Eugene Slater and a Martin Warren, where are they? Dead? An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Stone Territory. How did Slater and Martin die? The desert, coming over from Tucson. Thirst. Didn't bother you? I kept my mind on other things. I thought you gentlemen died of thirst on the desert. The afternoon of July 29, 1881. Clay Hollister hadn't checked in at his office since early morning. His whereabouts was a mystery. Yeah. Three miles south of Tombstone. Old Wedlock Road. Do you know why you're still alive? I'll help you. You want to get across the border to Mexico. Without taking a regular trail. And without running into Apaches. We can't do it alone, Hollister. We don't know the country. But you do. Now you know why you're still alive, don't you, Hollister? Slater was against bringing you along. You should have listened to him. is isn't going to work. You're going to be our guide, Sheriff. Why? Keep you from shooting me? You're going to shoot me anyway when we get to Mexico. Probably. But I think you'll come along just the same. Why should I? A tin badge. You're a sheriff, Hollister. It's the sheriff's duty to arrest people like us. As long as you're alive, you got a chance of doing just that. It's a slim chance, to be sure. Oh, I don't know. Three to one isn't so very bad odds. Three to zero, Hollister. You don't have any bullets, just guns. We figured it wouldn't look good if you run into somebody and you weren't wearing any. Go on, check them. I'll take your word for it. We even stole a horse for you. You ought to be grateful. Show the proper spirit. All right, Sheriff, you're the lead man. Next stop, Sonora, Mexico. You know how far that is? It's only about 50 miles. A broiling desert. We're packed for it. Enough? More than enough. Food, 
Order? Happy? I'll be happier when we get to Sonora. All right, Sheriff, let's go. I'll ride behind him. You even think, Tricky, and you're dead. I guess he means it, Sheriff. Like I said, it's fate is against this whole thing. I'd mean it even if the plan were my own idea. Now get. Take turns, stand and watch. Except you, Hollister. You get to sleep right through. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight. The evening of July 29, in Tombstone, concern for Sheriff Hollister began to grow. There was no clue to his disappearance. In the water. He's crazy. It was open, pouring out. He must have done it. Shut up. How about it? Do you have anything to do with it? How could I? Wasn't your boy watching me? What'd he want to touch the water for? To make it harder on us. Make it harder on himself, too. He's half lizard. He doesn't need much water. I tell you, Glade, I didn't touch the water. He did. Either way, you're wrong. Either you tried to steal our water, or you let the man you were supposed to be watching do it. Now go see how much water we lost. Better than half empty. You know, personally, I think you did it. Rafferty, nobody, even if he's all lizard, can live on the desert without water. You could. You know all about the desert. You know how a man without water can survive. 
by squeezing the moisture out of the heart of a cactus plant. Well, I know that too, Hollister. And even if your plan had worked, you couldn't have won. And you won't win. Now go get some sleep. July 30, 1881. Hollister's deputies made a thorough search of the Tombstone area. Nobody had seen the missing sheriff. gone that way? No. You sure? Positive. You better be. Pretty smart, aren't you? What is it? A writer. He was heading us right for him. Well, I didn't see him until just now. You were a liar. Take it easy, Slater. What trouble can one man cause us? A patrol, even. Well, we're not hundred men now. We're members of the sheriff's posse. Right, Sheriff? He could take a chance and give us away. Have the other man killed? I don't think he'd do that. Howdy, right, man. Hello. Don't be unsociable, Sheriff. Howdy, right, Sheriff. Name's Mitchell, prospector. Hollister, glad to meet you. Did you see a lone rider back there, Mr. Mitchell? We're looking for a tall man and a sore old mare. No, I ain't seen a soul since I left Tombstone. Tombstone? Tombstone's back there. Uh, I'm afraid you turned around, son. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> it's a tenderfoot. Well, I guess we better be riding, Sheriff. Nice to have met up with you, Mr. Mitchell. Well, same here, man. Well, adios. <laughs> He'll be out of earshot in a minute. The old man's out of earshot. What are we waiting for? Not a thing. We're not gonna shoot him. Why not? We still need him to get to Mexico. Are you crazy? He almost brought us right back to Tombstone. He emptied out half our water. How many chances does he get? As many as we give him, I guess. Losing the water was your fault, Juan. Being led around the circle was everybody's fault. Letting him live is gonna be your fault. I say he goes right now. And I say you get no say. I thought we were partners. You thought wrong. And you're thinking wrong now. Better step back, Sheriff. He's a bad shot. You can still have another chance, Slater. At what? Hanging? No thanks. You're the one that's making the mistake, Rafferty. Bringing him along. He's got a bag full of tricks. I say we kill it. You said that before.
He's dead. What do you think we should do about the sheriff, Warren? Whatever you say, Glade. Well, I say he should lead us to Sonora, Mexico. What do you say? I say the odds are getting better. It's two to zero now. Upset you, Warren? Not if it isn't mine. Can I have some water? Later. Okay, Hollister. That's enough. Up. Hold it. Get out. Back over there. Warren. Yeah. Watch him. Bury him. You help him. Hollister. Take a look at that hand. What's the matter? So much fuss about one little bullet. You got lots more to play with, haven't you? Sure. down there. All right, that's good enough. Nobody will find him now. We'll take the extra horse along to lighten the supply load. Let's go. South. July 31, 1881. Bulletins on Hollister were sent to peace officers throughout the Southwest. Still no clues. What that? What's what? In your hand. Open it. Didn't we do that once before? Well, let's do it again. Let me have your guns. One at a time. Shaky, aren't you? Come on, you still have a gun. All right, Sheriff. Might be interesting to see how well you can shoot. All right, let's go. August 1, 1881. Clay Hollister had been missing for four days. Clay!
Is he dead? Yeah. Odds keep getting better for me, don't they? They're still one to zero. One to one. I found that bullet you dropped at Slater's grave. It's in my gun now. The right one. You're lying. You're going to have to prove that. You got one of two choices now. You can either surrender to me, or you can draw. Which one's it going to be? Suppose you do have that bullet. You've only got one shot. That's true. But you can't find out unless you go for your gun, can you? What have you got to lose by bluffing? We're almost to Mexico. You know I'll kill you anyhow when I don't need you. Yeah, that's one side of the story. Other side is I've got the bullet. The bullet's in the gun. Well? There's $50,000 in that saddlebag. You can have it. It's all for yourself. I don't call your bluff. You can take me in. Turn around. to find out. Yeah. August 3, 1881. A report reached me at the epitaph that Clay Hollister had been seen riding into town. Have you been, Clay? I'll tell it. Well, doing what? Riding. Well, you ought to let somebody know where you are. Things have been happening around here. You got a telegram from Tucson. Oh? Yeah, Charlie opened it. Says that three men wanted for bank robbery and murder are heading this way. Well, three men would be riding three horses, wouldn't you say? Well, of course they'd be riding three horses. What do you expect them to do, walk here? What's the matter with you? Have been quite a gunfight. One bullet. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I wanna be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. If your past has run afoul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in Tombstone Territory. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I want to be Whistle a tune that'll carry me To Tombstone Territory 
Thank you.